So now we're gonna try sit pretty for our tricks class. So this is a fun little trick, but it's hard to keep, uh, it, it's important to keep a couple things in mind. So first, the dog's heart is designed to pump blood this way, not this way, I lost the dog. Um, so as there, she's fine, there's a bag of beef lung over there that she's very interested in. <laughs> Hold on a touch. So okay. their heart is designed to pump blood this way, not this way. So if I'm asking a dog to sit up like this and their heart is pumping blood this way, it's working really hard. So your dog might even feel something similar to dizziness or like if you're hanging upside down on the monkey bars and your head gets all funny, um, they might feel that way. So the way I like to start, um, I also want you to keep in mind that they haven't maybe worked the stomach or the back muscles in order to hold their body this way. So dogs are, they're quadrupeds. They walk and move and their muscles are intended to do this. Their muscles don't usually put them in this position for long periods of time. So just like us, if we just decided to start today to do 50 sit-ups and haven't done them in a few years, hypothetically speaking, <laughs> you'd probably be really sore the next day. So sit. what I'm going to do, I'm gonna ask her to paw, if she already knows the shape of her paw, and I'm gonna kind of hold my hand here for her to lean up into. Uh-oh, and you see how she popped up? The treat went away. So I'm gonna just go on, yes, right there. And I'm supporting her, I'm helping her out. Bellana and Captain are both a little more chesty. Their hips are more narrow than their chest. So they might feel a little more top heavy or a little more tippy. I've been doing this with Captain for a couple of years and I still have my hand there. And he, he very awkwardly does sit pretty like this. Um, it's not a natural pose for him. It's not really a natural pose for most dogs, but you can train them and kind of give them some core strength Shake. Yes. I'm going to help her out. I'm going to reach over her head and reward her while she's in that position. As she gets better with it, she's not going to need my hand. She is pushing off. I'm not grabbing her foot. I don't want her to pull it back. I'm just there for support. She's like, ask me to do it again. <laughs> okay. Yes. I'm gonna keep her here. I don't wanna come all the way up and have her stand up. I really want that controlled sit with just her torso coming back. Um, that's a nice impulse control behavior that's also fun to kind of play with. So why don't you work on that this week um, and we'll give you some more exercises in the future.